tied with the Structural Integrity Society of Serbia or get the disease if I didn't continue with it. I'm not the resources, so I'm trying to bring it <laughs> get to, to, sick. to the screen. Yes. Okay, that's okay, I guess. I, I, I always uh, tend to use all the space in PowerPoint that's not always a smart thing to do. So, uh, more than 50 years ago, my father, Stan Sednok, worked on his Amistad thesis, as we called it at that time, and he, he had to finish his uh, research on photoelasticity by measuring stress concentration factor of a tensile plate uh, with a hole, circular hole. Well, we all know that it is three, but it was introduction of new method, but still his uh, advisor, he was okay with this, but his advisor was ambitious. Actually, later on, Nikola Pedro became a president of Serbian Academy of Sciences. And uh, he asked him, well, uh, something like, I read somewhere something about Bowie's problem, uh, circular hole like you have, but there are two cracks. Can you do something like that? So Stoyan took uh, Gillette, Gillette and made two cracks because at that time photoelasticity was done on polymeric material, polyacrylate, I don't know yeah, which one. Yeah. yeah, that was ages ago. So uh, he managed to measure stress concentration factor. First result that he obtained was a bit disappointing, just something like five. Uh, and then uh, later on he introduced some picking more carefully measured and then through some extrapolation techniques and ended up with nine, which is quite okay because of course his crack had the final uh, tip. So after that he was, uh, rest of his life, he was very much involved in structural mechanics. Uh, he worked later on his thesis, he introduced for the first time in, I think, Southeast Europe and certainly in XU, experimental evaluation of uh, fracture toughness. He measured it on two brittle materials and then he went to a couple of conferences including the one, the one mentioned uh, hmm. uh, it's not mentioned, sorry. So including the one in 1977 in, in Waterloo, that was ICF-7, he met there Michael Nook, and this is crucial for establishment of uh, international fracture mechanics summer schools in, in uh, Yugoslavia, and I will explain why. So somehow I uh, uploaded the old version, so I will have a few slides that I will skip over. Yes, this is uh, too many details, but it is from his Manchester thesis. It's not uh, in the scope of the topic, but this is how it was really done. Uh, so uh, this is from his thesis, and uh, this is my father in his office. Uh, these are some uh, historical facts. There was large reverse, sort of reverse hydropower plant in Vaina Bashta that contributed a lot. Now that is what we are talking today about from 1980 till 2008. So in 28 years we have had 10 international fraction mechanic summer schools. And I will say a few more words later on. In the first one there was a, a, a one very significant uh, friendship uh, born, Joey Arich, professor, he's still alive. Uh, he provided theoretical basis for uh, J-integral and fraction mechanics parameters. The numerical fraction mechanics as presented by Mladen Berkovic. Two of them were actually later on my advisors. Mladen unfortunately died a long time ago, 1999. And also my father with experimental results and Stan also died in 2014. Now there was a, another big uh, push 
to, to get to the some some really uh, world class experiments. It was USA XU project on Belmont Traction Mechanics from 1982 to 1990, and that was also important uh, uh, support for uh, summer schools. Uh, we can skip over this, although it is interesting how we organized this CF9 in Varna. Mission impossible, but we did it. Now there is a chaos, and it doesn't matter, you know probably about it. 2001, Serbian Structure Integrity and Life Society was established. Recently I thought about it, and then I realized that my father had 70, that he was 71 year old when he did this. I'm 67, I don't think in four years that I would be inspired to do something like that. Anyhow, the society is very active, uh, and also uh, to be uh, mentioned uh, as organizer of uh, summer schools 8, 9, and 10, you will see later on. So ever since 2001, there is also a journal, which was mentioned by uh, Francesco in his speech as one of two that fulfills our conditions. Uh, Frattura Italiano, is uh, at least one class better journal, I have to say that, that uh, and I, I still don't understand how this is not on the list, but uh, formally speaking we are in the same position, but uh, we are a class below, I have, I have to admit. Uh, nevertheless, uh, our journal is indexed in Scopus, an emerging uh, clarivate list, so on. Well, this is uh, not that important. Let's go to the fraction mechanics and scope. This is Malin Berkovic, my advisor. Did you say Berkovic? Berkovic. Berkovic. Uh, there is a very interesting story about how he actually uh, came into this uh, presentation, into the summer schools. When Michael Nook and Stan Selman discussed about the summer school sometime in March 1980, Michael actually came with the idea, Stern, and, and he wanted to organize it in June 1980. Stern told him, you're crazy, but Michael told him, no, 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 we will do it. I will pick up a few uh, eminent uh, lecturers from abroad, and you just uh, make a kind of uh, comprehensive team from Serbia. And they both uh, had a task to, to uh, cover all disciplines, experimental, numerical, uh, theoretical. So Michael was quite successful and he brought eight lectures, prominent lectures, all over the world. And Stoyan uh, made a uh, quite a success with five of them, but one was missing. He couldn't, uh, he didn't know anybody, he couldn't find anybody in numerical structure mechanics. And then he told Michael, well, I can't. Uh, I, we don't have anybody in numerical structure mechanics here in Yugoslavia. But Michael told him, yes, you have. And he told him, that's not a bad which works at an electrical institute in Jarkova. And he was, well known, uh, known in the world, but not well known in ex Yugoslavia. One of the reasons is that he was working in the institute, not the university, and that is, was kind of military institute, and he was that type of person. He was uh, always keep low, low, low profile. Uh, how Michael knew about him? Well, in 1976 there was the first World Congress on Finite Element Method. Uh, 16 papers were presented and they were all invited. One of them was presented by Mladen uh, Berkovic. Uh, his uh, thesis was on finite elements. It was a membrane finite element that he introduced first all over the world, and uh, he was really a, a wizard in numerical methods. He really introduced uh, computational mechanics in 
Yugoslavia and Southeast Europe, and uh, also computational fracture mechanics. So his contribution is also, I would say, gigantic one, as was my father's. Uh, so these are the lecturers. Adam Mazur, Andrzej Jaworski, Poland, Mohan Ratvan, USA, Jan Shorkish, Poland, and Andrzej Andre Niemitz, who is well known in these circles, or at least used to be. Uh, they were all from Poland uh, because Nook originally came from Poland to USA. And from our side, a uh, couple of other names that I didn't mention, Alexander Radovich and Lubomir. And and Joseph Pirsch, that's Slovenia, actually, nowadays Slovenia, and Ivan Dojkovic, XU, and so on. So, uh, and this is one of photos. Uh, the, uh, who can guess where I am gets a chocolate? Okay, nobody gets a chocolate, this is me. <laughs> that was here 1982, 40 years ago. Almost. <laughs> Almost one month is me. No, exactly. It was June. Yeah. June 82. Uh, here is uh, my father. This is McHenry, a key person in this project, uh, USA XU. Adam Mazur, very prominent figure at the time from Poland. And uh, John uh, Radon, who worked with Kate Miller a bit and so on. Okay, so uh, that was great success, that uh, first uh, Fractional Mechanics Summer School organized just in three months, but uh, secret of that success, except for Stan and Michael Nook, was the support of Bosch Company. At that time, that company was in charge for uh, construction of hydroelectric power plant by Navash, the reversible, and that makes actually the pipeline that uh, brings water forth and back uh, was uh, so uh, critical in design that it led to extensive fracture mechanics testing for fitness for purpose to, to be proved. And it was, it was really done, and it was really a, a big very successful start of fracture mechanics in x So finally, with eight domestic and six foreign lectures, presenting 21 lectures uh, in the scope of introduction to fracture mechanics and fracture safe design, 62 participants were at that uh, first summer uh, school. This is Michael Nock lecturing at that occasion. He also died in 2014. These are very old stories, actually. And this is the list of, of uh, international fracture summer schools up to number seven. Uh, and the first one is was in 1980, as I already told you. Now, sorry, wrong button. So we are back. Second one was two years later. It was devoted to pressure vessels and penstocks, equally successful. Number three was also two years later. It was devoted to dolmens, equally successful. And then even better, Number four, Dubrovnik, 19, 1986. And uh, number five, Olsen Dubrovnik, 1989. One of them was in the same location where Željko Božić is now organizing his uh, conferences. Ipsid conferences. Yes. The first one. First one. Uh, I think Both. so, I think so. Because yeah. this was in Liverpool. Yes, yes, you're right. That's I right. Yeah. That. Yes. You, I still you're that old. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, in 1988, we 
you want a bit to organize ECF9, and this is why 1988 was shifted to the following year, but little did we know what uh, was about to happen in Yugoslavia. So, the next one was in Vrnik in 1991, just a few days because before it all started, uh, Nana remembers that. I was there and uh, in we, we, this uh, morning we started back. Yeah, let, let's not even <laughs> remember it. Also because of these events, uh, we had to organize ECF9 in Varna under sanctions. That was really something unbelievable, never to be repeated. Mm -hmm. We had a great help from our friends in Bulgaria and uh, that was a bit uh, critical for uh, uh, European Group on Fracture as it was named in those days, but we survived. Uh, you can see a big uh, pause between these two because in between uh, there was all kind of events that we don't want, like to remember. But in the year 97, we re-established Fraction Mechanics Summer Schools. Uh, it was still, we, we always published uh, what we call monography. After that, it's collection of uh, lectures. Uh, it was still in Serbian. So this is why actually I separated these seven from the eight, which you can't see, but it doesn't matter, it's just the title number nine and number ten. These three were published later in uh, English. But there was one exception. Uh, number five was also published in English as a special collection of uh, papers. But uh, uh, from uh, number eight, uh, unfortunately only three of them were kind of uh, completely international production kind of summer school in that res in, in respect that we have published also this uh, collection of lectures and you can find this on uh, SS website. They are all, all three of them are on uh, SS website and uh, they are still relevant because this is summer school, not a research. There is certainly some research inside as well. But uh, listening to youngsters nowadays, my impression is that they are wizards in research, in, in uh, experimental and numerical work, but typically they have just the portion of the world that it is designed, dedicated to them, and it's their doctoral thesis, and that's all fine, but somehow they are missing the broader picture, and. It, for that point of view, from that point of view, summer schools are extremely important. And SS will continue to uh, and even improve this activity every all year when we have uh, conferences, we will have it two days before as here, and every uh, no, every evening or so. And every all year we will have yet another uh, organized somewhere else. Maybe soon Romania and Serbia will have a joint summer school together. Uh, there were very, uh, very good uh, high level activities in Ukraine and Poland, as far as I remember. Unfortunately, uh, it will take a couple of years that they utilize that. And uh, you can see that. Uh, there, there was not much of regularity in this uh, first decade of 21st century. In year 2003, that was uh, uh, IFMAS uh, 8. Uh, then, then we attempt to organize joint uh, event with Romania, but uh, we failed because of visas. Yeah, and what? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, I was yes. there. So next year, 2005, we had uh, excellent uh, school number nine in, in once again in Bulgaria, uh, in cooperation with Donka and Yelova. 
who was always present at ECFs, except this one, I don't know why she didn't come. Also, Professor Stefan Vodinicharov, who was great help in 92, and Martin Leroyer, those are people who really helped in organizing excellent uh, school. And finally, number 10, which was 14 years ago, that was the last time that my father was capable to organize it. Uh, after that, uh, nobody took over, but I think we will finally make additional effort and with help of our friends from Mishwara, organize ESSI Summer School, which might be also considered as, as the 11th one for, for this very, very nice uh, Syria, series of uh, summer schools. I think that's basically it. Uh, you can see here Stein and Michael Nook. That was on the occasion of Stein's 80th birthday uh, in 2009. Uh, and uh, this is this is not relevant. Okay, okay. thank you, thank you, thank you for this part of history of, of the summer school of of. Uh, of